stumps down there and it ain't put a nick in the blade it ain't dented the blade the edge I can still go cut paper with it put some finger grooves in the handle not sure what type of wood this is just some I had in a box in the shed Thing mud enough I had right now to put handles on. I put it on another one of his and it lasted still good, so it's a cheaper wood, but I'm just giving this to a gift as a gift to him. He's gonna bring me some deer meat and I'm gonna give him a knife. <laughs> in the sun where y'all can see. Filed the hand grooves in with the What y'all think? Like I said it ain't the prettiest knife in the world, but he's just gonna use it to clear bushes and stuff when he hunts and around the house and stuff. Anybody's interested in maybe getting one of these, I'll be uh, if, I get, if I get some orders for some, I can make make some more of them. I uh, say I don't know. I have to order steel and stuff. I uh, say probably about. I do it for a hundred bucks probably. If that's too high. If y'all think that's too high, just let me know. I'm not really sure about the pricing on stuff like that, but. There's a lot of work went into it. I had to forge it straight and grind it and put the handles and all that. If anybody's interested in it, let me know. And I'll, I won't be making it out of boat steel next time, though. If somebody's wanting one, I'll be ordering some 5160 flat stock and making it out of that. That way you ain't got to worry about no pitting or bends or nothing like that in it. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think.